Hello, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well. Cool. So this is your general your general love reading for uh, July. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to uh, jump ahead to the start of the reading. Okay, it is time, Sam. So this section is really for those that kind of prefer to see me shuffle on the camera. So if you click in the description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. Okay, so it's gonna take me then, and I'll be. All right, so Gemini, they're starting to read it, and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. And picking up as uh, this being your side, the person you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so I'm not really sure where to start when it comes to this this reading, uh, Gemini, simply because, you know, it's 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 an interesting read. It's an interesting read. Um, you know, one of the things I will say is that your intuition kicks in. Where you guys, where you're going, where this is going, your intuition kind of kicks in and gives you information. Um let me explain what's going on here all right so it seems like i'm not sure to what degree this relationship is for some of you this is a marriage for some of you this is an exclusive long-term relationship for some of you this is the dating whatever the case may be so it's definitely a relationship of some form this person has kind of picked up and this is in the past this person kind of picked up that you was entertaining maybe speaking to other people, engaging in third-party activities. Let's say that. Uh, but the response to, to that was interesting. And maybe for some of you, if you would look back or think back, you would think the same. They kind of rushed into, and I'm not sure whether this person even, and this is what's just coming up for me now. I'm not sure whether this person even gave you an inkling that they knew you was engaging in in this is just like their response was to kind of grab you back or get you back or not make you go too far um, away from them. And if they do, if they did know who, and obviously you know that they know, uh, same applies really, same applies. You were kind of getting away with it for a while, kind of getting away with it for a while, knew that, you know, on some level you was causing some form of hurt, but there was this judgment irritants about just how this person acted in terms of just how they brought you back or how they put a stop to your third party extra curriculum activities and say that uh, which brings us to where we are now it seems like it's a bit uh, you're showing up as the pay so you're feeling good because this person is showing you a lot of tension they're you know showering you with words of affirmations let's say that showing up as the the empress card very nurturing very uh, attention uh, attentive caring providing it's that type of thing very attentive to your needs and that's how you're showing up and you're recognizing you're starting to think about the you know of course naturally is gonna make you start to think about you know the positive aspects of who they are and what they bring to your life and you know all that good stuff so now you're feeling like okay i can create or birth something with this person yes there needs to be some form of change but i'm willing to go in this new direction i'm willing to take a risk on this sure. your person has had an epiphany with that page a wake up a realization unbeknownst to you they've got their guards up and i'm going to say this is for some of you understand that maybe, you know, this is the best way they handle, try to, you know, could handle this. 
just based on where they're going. As much as they're nurturing you and showing you attention, words of affirmation, being attentive, they've still got that queen of swords mindset where they've kind of got their boundaries up a bit. Yes, they feel good about, we've got the sun cards there, they feel good about where they're at when it comes to you only because there's something that they're doing behind the scenes which is going to make them feel vindicated or justified or not even so much justified, like they've, they've gotten justice, vindicated. Um, yeah, because this extracurriculum activity, unbeknownst to you, I don't feel like you understood the impact that it had, was having on them, you know, and it's like these are the repercussions of of that. Of that. Well, now you know. <laughs> now you know. If you resonate with this, now you kind of know what's going on behind the scenes when it comes to this person. It's really just coming from a place of, you know, you hurt me. You hurt me and I want to get you back. It's like this one up thing. It's, but it's more about not them engaging in, I don't feel like it's them engaging in third party extracurricular activities. I feel like this is more about them coming back. If you're married, It's them coming back to get something, them coming back to solidify something, then coming back to sign, get something signed or, um, but you're, how do I put that? It's them coming back to kind of set their self up for, you know, getting that vindication that they're wanting. They're not happy about how you handled things and how you were in the past. And that's just, just, just what it is, which explains where this is going to. Um, but like I said, your intuition gives kicks in. It gives you some form of information, which, um, you know, kind of settles your mind and eases things. Uh, so let's, let's, let's move into the full reading now, the extended version of the reading, which is linked in the description bar below, guys. So click on that and I shall see you guys in a bit. 